Hi, I'm Kayla Raskowski, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Today, I want to tell you about how contributions from people like you have helped a family like mine. My daughter, Ella, was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis as a newborn. And for those that do not know, cystic fibrosis, or CF, is a genetic disease that affects the cells that produce mucus, sweat, and digestive juices in the body. For a normal person, their secretions are thin and slippery, but for someone with CF, their secretions can be thick and sticky and clog the passageways and ducts, especially in the lungs and pancreas. My husband and I were not previously aware of any family history of cystic fibrosis, and so Ella's diagnosis was a complete shock. We had our first visit with the CF clinic at the Children's Hospital in Omaha when Ella was two weeks old. And at the six hour appointment, which was very overwhelming, we learned that Ella would need to start medication immediately because she had pancreatic insufficiency. We would also start chest percussion therapy as well to prevent any lung damage. The medication that Ella had to take was little capsules that we would open up and put the beads into a spoonful of applesauce. We had to teach our two-week-old daughter how to use a spoon, and she would take this medication every time she ate. And I don't know about you all, but I felt like our newborn ate 100 times a day. And so it was very exhausting in trying to keep up with this regimen and make sure that she was getting the medication when she needed it, but we knew how critical it was. The chest percussion therapy involved my husband or I taking a tiny little rubber cup and patting firmly the different lobes of the lungs 30 minutes twice a day. And this was to prevent mucus buildup and subsequent lung damage. That first year of Ella's life is just a blur. When I think of it, we were just trying to survive each day. The effects of the common cold or virus can be much more damaging to someone with cystic fibrosis. And so as you can imagine, we had to be very careful about what environments we took Ella into. When Ella was nine months old, I discovered the CF Foundation my family attended one of their events, a walk in Omaha, and it was completely overwhelming how many people were there supporting cystic fibrosis. It was actually a really emotional day for me because I had just had blinders on with Ella and this disease, and we had been so reactive at that time instead of proactive. And so to see all of these people out there fighting alongside us and to learn more about the foundation and the work that they were doing, it was inspiring uh, to know that we were not in this fight alone and that there's this community out there to support us. It was then that I got involved with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and I would come to find out that when the foundation was formed in 1955, the average life expectancy of someone with CF was only 10 years old. Cystic fibrosis is a disease for which there is currently no cure. However, tremendous developments have been made in recent years, and it really feels like the momentum is on our side. Years are being added to our CF patients' lives, and the donations, your donations, they are working. With the recent developments of COVID-19, it's been a scary time, I'm sure, those of you that live with someone that is at high risk for severe, severe illness from COVID-19 can relate that you're just trying to do the best you can to keep your loved ones healthy and safe. And while I'm fearful for Ella and her health, I'm also fearful that we're going to lose the momentum that I just mentioned. It felt like we've come so far in just such a short amount of time and I do not want the progress to slow down. In 2019, the CF Foundation has had to cancel or go virtual with all of their events after March of 2019. And I just don't want us to lose progress in this battle. 
and I refuse to lose hope. That's, that's for sure. I truly believe that a cure will be found during Ella's lifetime. I hope that in sharing the mission of the foundation, it encourages you to support all the organizations that benefit from the United Way Impact Fund. Please consider making or increasing payroll contributions to the United Way Impact Fund. I cannot thank those of you that already contribute and your generosity is so appreciated and inspiring. You all do not get to see the direct impact your donations make, but I can promise you that every single dollar truly makes a difference in someone's life. Thank you.